Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round one of the Gen Con Day 3 of Swiss. I guess more accurately, it is the third heat of Swiss, your third opportunity to be Swissin' here at Gen Con. We are, uh, this is our, gonna be our 11th round of X-Wing being streamed live. Shout out to Asmodi for providing internet access to us while we uh, are here at Gen Con. First time ever to have official support like that. So that's pretty awesome. And thank you to Curlpaw Creatives for their continued support. And most importantly, our patrons and direct supporters. Because without you guys, we could not do what we do. All right, this match we have Zach Mertens versus Tommy Adams. Here on Zach Mertens' side, we have Han Solo, Leia Organa, and Colby Sparato. Han Solo with Trick Shot, Perceptive Co Pilot, and Biston. So, a couple of combos there, Perceptive Co Pilot, allowing you to have two focuses. Oh, by the way, I cannot forget to start up that Choose Your Champion. It is time. Go ahead and start to choose your champion so as you're doing that let's keep bringing this down so perceptive co-pilot on han solo allows you to get two focus tokens when you perform an action you receive another focus token then biston says if you are focused you are allowed to do a bonus attack you get two of those um and that's pretty awesome. And of course, you're most likely going to have a focus token left over because of that perceptive co pilot. Trick shot, giving you an additional die on attack when firing through an obstacle when firing an obstructed shot. So watch out for those four die shots coming in from Han. Then Leia on the other side has, check this out, the Millennium Falcon title. All right, when evading, you can go ahead and roll an additional uh, defense dice. And then you got Ezra Bridger, Ezra Bridger on there as well. And let's go ahead and review what's on Ezra Bridger. Um, confused. Let's go ahead and, uh, and review that. So we talked about Leia already. Um, Leia, her ability, pretty awesome. Um, after a friendly ship fully executes a red maneuver, if it is at range 0 to 3, you may spend a force. And if you do, that ship gains one focus or recovers one force. Now, you might be wondering, how does Leia get malice? And that's due to the Maul crew on there. And how did Maul crew get on there? It's because you have Ezra, right? So you got those different things. So you're getting an additional first point from Maul and Ezra. So a total of three force on Leia. Lots of mods, and then Malice being able to trigger crits, it's pretty dirty. So very, very cool uh, setup there. Then with those addition, uh, those last four points, you got Colby Sperato, Notorious, R4 Astromech, Contraband Cybernetics, and of course, those Servo Motor S Foils. R4 giving you a little bit more blue maneuvers on those one and two speeds, or excuse me, reducing the difficulty. In this case, because of the X-Wing, uh, they're making those two hards blue contraband cybernetics gives that one turn of uh get out of jail free or just strategery to be able to uh perform a red maneuver and still get an action specifically it can also be done just while stressed so watch out for that as well on tommy adams side he's got fenrau the Sheetapede with Leia Organa and R4 Astromech. R Fenral, it has the ability to prevent you from spending your tokens. Now do note, force charges are not tokens. So Fenral can't do anything against a uh, one of these Falcons that's using uh, the force to modify the dice. You can, you can maybe uh, shut down Han a little bit. Uh, shut down Han. By the way, Han Solo is the one with the red marker there and uh, the paint on top. And I did get a snap. I did snap a photo of those X wings. Let's go ahead and get those color coded as well. So let's do that. So in dressed in black is Wedge and Tilly's. Wedge Antilles there with the partisan style X-Wing. 
in the classic colors. We got Luke Skywalker. And then Colby Sparato is in the yellow X-Wing. So watch out for that. What do we have on Wedge? Wedge is elusive. Marchmanship. Proton torpedoes and R3 astromech. Elusive giving you a defensive reroll uh, by spending a charge. You can recharge that um, that charge after doing a red maneuver. These uh, these X wings do love doing their K turns, so watch out for that. Proton torpedoes, a staple in X wing. Four dice torpedo. Um, one of them turning into a crit. Big hits. That's one thing that the Falcons do not want to deal with. We have Luke Skywalker with Proton Torpedoes Afterburners for a little bit more giddy up in that Luke Skywalker. After performing a three or four speed maneuver, you can get boost. And Colby Sparato out there. R4 Astromech, Contraband Cybernetics, Notorious. And watch out for that Colby Sparato ability. Gets a little bit of, uh, of maneuverability. So Colby Sparato, after you perform a barrel roll or boost action, you may flip your... S foil so got some flexibility especially with that boost you can keep those wings closed boost and then open it up giving you uh, just that little bit of extra speed and being actually being able to have that third attack die is pretty awesome especially because that one doesn't have any uh, any torpedoes all right so let's go ahead and talk about the scenario we have assault at the satellite array if you are within range zero to one of one of those objective tokens and you have the majority control over it meaning that you have more ships there than uh, than your opponent then you get a point at the end of the end phase starting in the second turn so we are going into this is turn two right now so scoring will begin here in this turn you can see that colby sparato on the other side is uh is making a move and what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and paint this Colby red because I have the red base. That's how you know which one it is. All right, three bank coming in from Luke Skywalker. We could potentially see an afterburners. I think it's to be a little early. Oh, actually, the afterburners might not be a bad idea in order to get that objective point this turn that would likely get luke into range one i think that's what tommy's looking at right now we'll see what he does hmm. that is the contemplation usually afterburners is a defensive upgrade a get out of jail free card or to push into range one does he want to do it I think he's looking at his lane from the side. Afterburner charge are not recoverable. So it is a uh, tough cookie to crack. Do you want to do it? Do you want the point? I just saw a charge get flipped. And here comes the afterburners. That'll be in range one and likely get Tommy... An additional point there. And I think I just saw a target lock. Yes, so Afterburners is not only going to allow Tommy to get a an additional objective point, it is also getting him a lock. Watch out, Colby, on the other side. We got some Proton Torpedoes coming in. Here's Han Solo, sorry, no, Leia Organa in the yellow. French 2 in the chat says, choose violins always, always, always. So looks like we're reaching for a target lock. There, makes sense, Leia with all that force. Slap it down that target lot. That Moncala. Moncala Galactic Championship lock. 
you haven't played in some of Gold Squadron's online championships, we have another Galactic Championship qualifier coming up very soon. Check it out, goldsquadronpodcast.com. Three bank here means that Colby is going to end up bumping. That was the cost. Let's see if we end up taking damage on that Colby. The angle didn't suffer too much. No damage, no harm, no foul, though also no boost, which would have gotten a third shot on Zach's Colby Sperato. Now today I am going to be mostly riding solo, but we will also have a switch later on during the day. I think around 1 o'clock Will is going to be uh, taking over. Uh, Tim Kofsky asking, how is GST staff doing at Gen Con? Any top cuts? Yes. Both Will and I made the cut. Made the cut. Ryan did not make the cut yesterday, and Marcel is trying it today with uh, with, with a list that we uh, had doubts. We'll see what he does. And looks like a target lock got set up there. By the coordinated, the Fenral coordinate, R3 Astromech setting up multiple locks. I have R4 here. Just want to double check. I did take a picture, maybe I typed it wrong. One second. I'm a dingus. This uh, that's wedge. That's it's because of the model. It's the the model. The model got me. Oh, that's why I was checking. That's I had, I had to double check. <laughs> uh, that's because it's wedge. All right, let's let's get it going here. First attack. Looks like we are sinking in a damage. We had a re-roll there. Alright, now after that, let's go ahead and, uh, and get back into it here. First shot. Pretty rough. Pretty rough on that Proton Torpedo. Only a single mod. All right, let's keep it going. Alright, Proton Torpedo coming in from Luke Skywalker. Another low roll. It's going to scoop up three, keeping one focus. That's going to end up being another bad Proton Torpedo hit crit. Double blinks. Taking it. And that's two shields down on Zach's Colby. All right, Leia on Zach's side going to Tommy Adams. Colby Sperato in yellow. Attack going from here to here. Blank hit crit. We got that Moncala target lock. One hit, two crits, and we're going to use a force for Malice. Malice. 
He's got a focus. You rule one evade. He's gonna spend the focus. Take a shield. And use Notorious to give a strain to Leia Organa. Waiting for our next attack. We just finished initiative five. We're going to four. Tommy's the first player. His Colby Sparato will go up first. Is it, it is just barely a range two. Blank crit focus. And that's it. No mods in sight. And that's going to be evaded. That Colby came out clean. And Notorious to give a strain to the other Colby. Which one? Can the real Colby please stand up? Two hits. And a crit. Miss there. So that's hit, hit, crit. And it is a weapons failure. I mean, that is uh, kind of indicative of what these X-Wings have been doing. Nope, sorry, I clicked the wrong one. False. Not that one. There you go, weapons failure. Scenario points, we are at 3-3. Three, three. Sorry, we are at 2-2 two, two with that opening going into the third round. Sorry, I forgot to reset that scenario points from the turn before. You got that weapons? Yeah. So we had been asked to... Uh, we had a viewer asking, how did my fifth game go? I know Will was trying to give you guys the play-by-play -play <laughs> yesterday from, from far away. Uh, there were some spicy chaffs, and uh, I think my what won me the game was in early play. So it was versus a Wedge, Luke, and Han Solo. Let's go ahead and take a look at the players. That focus, that thumbnail right there. Um... And I knew that I had to get behind the X-Wings before I got Proton torpedoed to death. And they were trapped. They were going to be trapped in an alley between two asteroids. So I threw the chaff. Five forward. Four forward speed. I hit my own chaff. I knew that was part of, part of the plan here. Uh, only ended up getting attacked by one X-Wing at range one. And... Uh, proceeded to uh, double bomb Luke the following turn and at the end of the game because of those bombs was able to finish him off with the final attack of the game and the chaffs just slowed down uh, slowed down Han I threw the second one which uh, made it so that Han Solo didn't have any focuses so no bis thinning and that bought me the time I needed to uh, do some work so that was that let's head back to the table As a goal, Levin says, it's so weird hearing Gihon talk about actually playing. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was great. Uh, my last premier level event playing was in Poland. So that would have been summer of 2019, I believe is when it was. Uh, where I wasn't supposed to play. Uh, and I was, I was, I was forced to play. They're like, no, you go play, which was, which was great. <laughs> My fellow Team USA uh, at the time saying that uh, I was required, required to go. So that was a great time. Missed the cut by one game during, uh, during that one and made it today. Andreas Carlson saying it was a good day. It was a great day. I agree. All right. Taking a look here at our options 
Fenral always available for the shenanigans. Rolled roll, so that's gonna end up switching. Zach is the first player. No Leia trigger. Here from Tommy Adams. Colby's gonna go ahead and close those S foils. Like Colby do, he does like keeping that boost available and then opening the wings after. Feels a little bit more thematic, right? Getting into attack speed and opening up those S foils. Oh, you, he said, no, I meant good day to you. I mean, that was a good day and also good day to you, sir. <laughs> All right, so Zach's Colby taking the boost there, opening the wings, focus. Stress because of the linked action off of the S foils. Colby on Tommy's side. He's got the weapons failure. Attack wings are open. Wings are closed. Contraband cybernetics getting triggered here. On the 4K. Well, I do declare. Are we going to get a little bit of boost focus? I mean, he's already getting a stress from contraband. Focus takes a stress, so he's going to be double stressed here. Um, with Colby at one health, though, I think this is the this is a good play. Have a chance to do something before you go. One forward with Leia in that Millennium Falcon. Empire Strikes Back era. Ooh, Tommy Adams use, using that. Oh, th that is a, you see that one forward? That is the original. I made 12 sets of the very first set of Gold Squadron Temples. They were hand painted. And uh, that that's a one forward from it. Dropping it and locking it. Leia's going to see if she can finish the job. Now they are both at initiative four. So if we have some simultaneous fire, Colby, we'll get to do something. One straight. Now, this feels like a situation where AP5 would probably be need to be used in order to uh, get Luke into a position where he can actually do some damage. Wings are open right now. Would have to probably barrel roll to get a shot. Barrel roll forward as far forward as possible. The boost is unavailable. Ooh. Target lock. Oh, the ship, the, the ship, the ship got bumped. And that's the right way to do it. If you bump it, let the opponent change it. Let the opponent fix it. Bumping happens. Looks like we're just barely in range. So, grabbing the target locks. The question is if he has range in arc or not. Remember, target locks are measured just from closest point to closest point of bases. Attacks, of course, need to be in the attack arc. Uh, 
Two straight from Han might see a boost here. Oh, just a double focus. Say so Han is a uh, is an expensive piece. Eight points banked away into that Millennium Falcon. Han has moved, and now we are moving into. I believe it is Wedge's turn. Is Wedge going to be able to get out of uh, the spot? He did bump on his opening maneuver with a three bank into Luke. Didn't end up taking any damage there. So we have Wedge or AP5. Wedge makes it over. Using a little side-by-side side by side method. Only really works with those small base ships. A little more wonky, I believe, on those uh, medium and large bases for that side-to-side. -side. Uh, small base is very nice. Colby sets up our wedge. Target locks Colby. Oh, this is wedge. This is Colby. Did I call him AP5? I mean, <laughs> sorry. It is a Fen Fen round. Dang it. <laughs> And going to get ahead and give him a fully modified shot there with a coordinated focus. All right. This is Han range three. Three hits, gonna be range three. There's a chance with three defense dice and natties. Let's see some natties in the chat right there. A little bit of second life there for Tommy's Colby Sperato. Wedge spends the target lock. Bends the focus for four. Staying aggressive. Three hits and a crit. All right. Spins and takes hit, hit, crit. And that's going to be down to one hole with a damage sensor array. All right, Fenral trying to finish it. Nothing with those natties. Oh, we only needed to get one. And Fenral is now notorious. All right, Leia probably ends up finishing off Colby Sperato here. Trying to determine if it's obstructed or not. We don't have a good vantage on it. All right, so it looks like we do have an obstruction here. Colby will probably hold on to that focus unless he can save him completely and with and malice for three crits
No. Structural damage. It looks like he maybe had one hole more. We had that correct, incorrect, so now he's at one hole. Was that two before? Sorry about that. Mistake on our side. And now does Luke have a shot? Nope, determined no range in arc. <laughs> All right, here we go. Colby Sperato on Zach's side, taking a shot. Two hits out of focus with a re-roll. Just two hits going into Fenral. That was strained. Does take two. That sheath of beats Fenral loses a shield and a hole. All right, a little Colby on Colby action here. Tommy's up. Two dice. Not going to happen. That was rough. Tommy is going to end up with a few objectives on both sides. Zach is at three. He gains one. Tommy gains three on that one. It's a score of five to three. One of the things that is important about this objective game is the fact that the objective points do matter quite a bit. You can get a, get a bit of a lead. If you can get a bit of a lead, uh, it can be greatly to your advantage later in the game. I will tell you, um, in two of my wins, I, you know, most of the time we're focusing on destruction, right? But I won because I care, I cared more about the objectives than my opponent did. There was a lot of ignored objective uh, actions, and I was able to take advantage of that. So, don't uh, don't count out those objectives if you can control them. If you're like you're falling behind, you know, just you, lean into the objectives. Lean in. A couple people asking about why a Ezra bonus attack didn't happen. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's learn a little bit. So Ezra, as a gunner, says that you must attack from a turret attack that you have not attacked from this round so that uh that card that ability needs to be triggered to fire from the other side so you got one came from here it would need to be in this area on the right but of course because um these falcons are are, are skirting the outside very kind of classic falcon play you're unable to to use utilize the other side unless the opponent was going up the board edge But I feel like the inclusion of Ezra is really more of having that force charge and essentially being able to have double modifications on most of your shots by target locking each of your activations and then having that force available to, uh, to modify those focus results. Turns out having a bunch of force is really, really good. How many players today Let's take a look. We're over 40. For sure. Just trying to look at the number of tables. 44, maybe? That's my unofficial count. My unofficial count is 44. That's what I see. How do you get Malice on Leia? Oh, that's 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 fun. That's fun. Check it out. Okay, it's a three. It's a, it's a several step process. How do we get Malice on Leia? Right there. You have 
You start with equipping Ezra. Ezra allows you to get Maul, and Maul allows you to get Dark Side um, upgrades. There you go. Step one, two, and three. Oh, I just noticed that's underneath my telestration. Come on. Let's, let's go ahead and fix that so that you actually can see what it's supposed to look like. There it is. One, two, three. All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to it. Four K from Zax. Colby Sparado. We also saw that boost focus. Double stress on the Colby. Colby moving fast trying to set up a bump on the front of Leia but a bump on the front of Leia would mean that she would not be able to attack him depending on how this movement gets lined up because Leia's turret is currently left right it would buy Colby one extra turn this matters a lot this matters a lot and it looks like Colby's still gonna be able to take a range zero attack Curse Kiwi, three-year mark. What? Thank you so much for your support, Curse Kiwi, over these three years of subbing the GSP. That's awesome. All right, after the bump there, could potentially take a focus, but forced to take a stress if he's going to do that. He's debating it. A little, little head shake. And he's doing it, taking the stress focus. Luke's wings are open, taking a big three turn around Wedge. Barry B9 says, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Barry. Hopefully you're doing well. Still two force on Luke. Gonna take a barrel, has a lock already set up on Leia. The barrel gives you a little bit of extra distance next turn for doing a one bank down and still maintaining a shot onto Leia. Big three hard here from Han Solo, hasn't been part of the fight yet. Stress boost. Han getting closer. Still probably not able to shoot. We'll see if that barrel roll that Tommy made does get Han a shot finally in this game.
Wedge already has a target lock. Wings are open. Dialed in a one bank. Does he have a shot on that corner? That bump caused Leia to be slightly offset from that arc. You see Tommy taking a top-down look on his side of the board. Tough choice. He is going to... one. If he would have closed his wings, he would have had the boost available. The boost to the left would have fit, most likely. He might be able to fit a barrel roll. It's very close. Barrel roll as far forward as possible. Where our angle does make for a little bit of a, of a weird parallax. He's, he's going to go ahead and slap down the focus. So my only question is, does a barrel roll fit there? AP5, three forward. I mean, with AP5 there, it, it looks like the barrel roll fits. But also, Luke is slightly angled in this ang in this direction. I <sighs> sorry, I keep saying AP five, Fen Rao. Excuse me. Tommy's used that model a bunch as AP five. That's my that's my brain turning into <laughs> auto auto read mode. And oh, Han it does have range on things. Has range to Fenral, so if, did he take a... No, he doesn't have focus, so there's only the Han rerolls, no bonus attacks. And we're getting that roll, Han Solo. Trick shot, only one hit. Han will use his ability to be able to scoop up all those dice, be a dirty scoundrel, and try again. Three hits. And three natties, that's how you do. Two dice natively for agility plus range three plus the obstruction for four dice. Was able to get three. Looks like a range three shot there from Fen and nothing. Red dice not working, a notorious trigger. On to Fenral. Coming from Zach's Colby Sperato there at the bottom of the board. Fenral, no shot. Excuse me. Uh, wedge, no shot. So time on target has not been great for Tommy this game. He's going to go in. Leia's going to take the range zero shot. See if he can take Colby off the board. Range zero. Only raw dice for the attacker. And not going to be enough. Colby goes down. And that's with the structural damage. Only had one agility. Target locked, get him removed, get that cleaned up. Sh quick shout out here to Hello World, who said in the chat, I just got the conversion kits discounted on Asmodee's website after a seven year break from this game. This coverage has hyped me up to meet with local folks for games. I hope the new rules and Disney shows will bring out more players like me. Awesome. That is great. I'm hyped. I love seeing new people coming to the game, and I'm glad we could help. Two hits, two crits. 
Single evade. Leia loses three shields on that one. That was from Luke Skywalker. All right, Colby. Reroll with Notorious, and that means Fenrau takes all three of those hits rolled by Zach and is removed from the board. It's going to be a hard deficit for Tommy to come back from. He would need to get one of these Falcons off the board, and with only having taken three shields so far, the damage race is not going well. And it looks like right there, this is going to hurt. Zach's going to end up with three objective points. He's got this one. One, two. There's another back here for Zach. Tommy only gets that one in the center. So we should have a score of 14 to 6. There we go. Both players have scored a total of six scenario points. But with being able to take out AP5 and Colby Sperato 4 are on Tommy's side. That has brought Zach within six points of the finish line. Now, I saw there was some other questions about my games that happened earlier. We could talk about those a little bit during the giveaway section if you guys want to ask about them. Um, I love hearing you guys' stories, though. We did have a question. Let me go back and try to find it. Uh, somebody asked, have, I hope you've been able to play Q Coup. Yes, we have played Coup. It's been great. Played a bunch. I am the Duke. Let's see, I missed, there was a question. I do not have it here. Not sure, it's lost, lost to the ether. Rocket City Rogue says, evil Leia. Interesting, yeah, oh yeah. Again, we did go through uh, that combination of cards of why that works all together. Now with Han Solo in the fight, it's definitely going to be a uh, more of an uphill battle for Tommy. Had a couple of really uh, underperforming Proton Torpedoes on the onset, followed by... You know, not being able to have shots with Wedge. A bump early on as well, keeping Wedge out of the fight. Means it's gonna, gonna be a little tough. Is the own talking while muted? No, I'm not. <laughs> Promise. One straight for Colby on Zach's side. Trying to carry the weight of this Rebellion squad. Takes a turn there and probably sets up another target log on Leia. Yeah. 
Han. Two bank around the rock. Probably going to see a boost here, get him into the fight. Hans almost always got the modification from his pilot ability available. Hans going to use the opportunity to rotate, expecting the fight to come down here and have shots towards the bottom of the board. Four straight. <laughs> All right, so look at that four straight. Does not fit. Does not fit. Ends up bumping into layout. Not enough space for Cole, uh, Wedge to, uh, to make it through. So we'll end up bumping into Luke. But because it was an enemy ship that caused the overlap, for that reason... There is no damage, has the opportunity to take a stress and focus. Oh no, sorry, that was a 4K, not a four straight, just a stress after failing that advanced maneuver. Hans got range three with chick shot into Wedge Antilles, who's got no defensive mods. It's going to be four on two. Hans got those re-rolls. Let's see what he's got. One hit crit. That's average. Is he going to get greedy? He's going to leave it right there. And Tommy able to roll out of it. Four defensive dice. Two natural. One for obstacle. One for range. Wedge trying to get a shot here into Leia. Has a lock from earlier. And able to get three. That is automatically three damage. Wedge on uh, being able to reduce the uh, enemy's agility by one. The Falcon only has a single agility die. Down to seven health. Leia now returning fire onto Wedge. Range one, four dice. Lost the dice cam there for a second. Uh, four hits. And pushing the malice crit there. Uses elusive. Here's an opportunity to get it in evade. Got it. That's a win. Hit crit on wedge. But that's only the shields. Elusive. Doing some work. Spends a target lock. Spends a force for three. Into Colby Sperato, and that's guaranteed. All right. Notorious does end up triggering there and making the score a little bit tighter, 14 to 10. Let's see, does Luke reach that objective? Looks like Hans covers both of those on the top. So Zach, Zach, and Tommy just being barely in range one there. So let's go ahead and assign those points. Plus two, plus one. Score now 16 to 11, currently favoring Zach.
Woody Wu saying Luke feels like he's in a bad spot. I mean, he is currently sitting in front of a debris and currently strained as well. Has yet to take any damage according to my count. I'm gonna just walk over here, just take a take a double check. Luckily this core is really, really long. So you can see Colby. Fenral. You're good, you're good. All right, yeah, so shields are currently still up on Luke Skywalker. Let's go ahead and clear our objective marking. Beginner says Luke needs an AP5 coordinate barrel. Now two five, AP5 is still in the hangar. Counting the inventory. Sad. <laughs> Dark Wee says Zach gets gets PT next turn automatically from Han. PT uh, gets one gets one PT gets one point. Got it. Had a, had a bit of a brain fart. What does PT mean? All right, here we go. Road roll. Determines who is the first player. As a reminder, the order of, of road, how it goes. Crits at the top. Followed by focuses, followed by hits, followed by blanks. And whoever has the greatest numbers through there is the winner. And you attain rain one, uh, first player. Let's see. And it looks like this is a talent roll. It's very close. And looks like the talent roll ends up clean. Single stress. Now Leia has seven hole. It's gonna be pretty tough to take her down in a single turn, but if you could, that would be a major swing for Tommy. If somehow Tommy can take down Leia this turn, that would get him eight points, bring him to 19 plus one for an objective. Is he anywhere close to an objective? I don't think so. An objective point would lock it out. Ooh. With Leia bumping into Luke, it is very unlikely, very unlikely that uh, that we end up getting getting Leia taken off the board. Especially that wedge hasn't moved yet. Is that a one bank probably hits at range zero. One straight probably means that it uh, it fits. Seven holes hard to chew. All right, that's a mouthful. It is a one straight, so Wedge will have a shot and an action after clearing that stress. Wings are open. This will be a four dice attack. Probably grabs a focus. Or does it want a target lock? And with Han Solo coming in, that's probably the right choice. Having a defensive option is there. At least having the choice. And Han keeping it casual. One straight. And I would expect probably a focus action here. Yep, there it is. Double focus with perceptive co-pilot. And we are in the engagement phase. Wedge first, range one. He's hoping to roll good here on the onset to be able to hold on to that focus for defense. Hit crit. Doesn't have to spend the focus. Those both stick. What's a crit? 
It is a fuel leak. That could end up being something that matters. Down to five. Han only has one, so no bonus attacks. And a terrible roll for Han. Gonna use his ability. Must re-roll all of them if you use it. And still a little bit under. Spends the force for two hits. Natty's on defense. Let's see him in the chat. Wedge living on a prayer. We're at initiative five. And we have a range zero shot here from Luke Skywalker. Two hits. No, unable to modify there. Leia has one. No squiggle there. Takes two. Down to three. Any ship goes down on either Tommy's side. Oh, Regen. Okay. So Leia just used Maul's ability after taking damage to Regen of Force. If any ship goes down this turn, that's going to be game. And here's Leia. Range one. Only with the Force. How many Force does he have available? He's got three. The wedge has four health. He's going to spin the lock. He does have set up there. How many is he going to scoop up? I think I would scoop up two of these. Decision. How many? Let me know. If you got four focuses here, three fours, how many in a target lock, how many focuses would you pick up here? He's going to go for one. Another focus. Force, force, malice. Spend and takes. Hit crit. So we'll live no matter what. Damage sensor ray only able to perform focus actions on Wedge from here on out. What is the redeem for Rebel? This should be Re Rebel or Rebels. I, I don't know. It's either plural or singular. Whoopstroid saying that it is the correct choice to uh, just go ahead and dump the force and keep the lock. I mean, you know, the <laughs> hindsight 2020 in this case, that would have been best because he literally ended up with the exact same result. This made the comeback possible. Oh, yeah, it did. This is going to be big. So um, we did have Zach there score an objective with Han. He's going to be at 17. So if Leo were to go down, it would be eight points. Brings him to 19. And if he was able to secure an objective with one of his other ships, that would be 20. Then we have on the other side Zach Mertens with his Falcons. If he takes one of these X Wings out, they're both six points. That's going to be 23. And it would be, uh, you know, all aces for Zach. So, in order for Tommy to win, he must keep both of his ships alive and take out the Falcon and get an objective point. Zach on his side, he just needs to take out a ship. And of course, right now, with Wedge down to two hole, that's going to be the target. 
By the way, I do want to give a shout out. We have a bunch of giveaways that we are doing. Shout out to Isofane yesterday who uh, gave me the challenge. He said, uh, I was playing yesterday. He said, if I made the cut, he would donate 100. That's cheating. I finished already. Are you done? Yeah. All right, you can't tell anybody that. No, I just got to go to the bathroom. I got to Got it. <laughs> you, can't, you, can't, you can't look at that. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with my boys here. Coming to look at my clock. All right. So, right now, but yeah, so shout out to Isofane. He gave me the challenge of of uh, making the cut. If he would, he would drop a hundred subs. It made it happen. Uh, so that was that was fun. So we gave away a bunch of stuff at the end. Of, uh, of yesterday, which is why we are at 233. So that was awesome. Two bank. Here for Leia. That will clear the stress that was taken on by the mall trigger. People having some fun with those redeems at the bottom of the board. Leia going to boost. Saying, I am out. I am fleeing. Well, not official. That's not official. Not official game term flee. And Leia does have. A crit on her. I'm not 100% sure which one it is. We'll keep it going. And the three hard there from Luke does not end up getting completed. Bumps into a friendly ship. Going to have to roll a die to see if he takes damage. I'm trying to get back to his previous position. But uh, Wedge was in the way and takes the damage there on Luke. Han Solo, first player for Zach, making a big turn there. And it looks like that fits. You can tell, you can tell that uh, right now Han doesn't have a shot, trying to get up, set up for shots. Boosting. Ooh, what the? He's gonna be able to scoop up an objective, have a shot, and have range one. This could be it for Wedge, let's see. Where is Luke going? Sorry, Wedge. Is this a talent roll? No, three hard. Did he have the wings close? Oh no, Wedge has damage sensor array. With only five minutes left, it's going to be a little tough to make up that ground. You can hear Tommy going through the math at the table. So Tommy's going to call it right there. Just when it comes to the objectives, he's about to scoop up a bunch and calls it there. So congratulations. 
after that concession there, Zach Mertens wins our first round here on stream for Gen Con third heat of Swiss here in Indianapolis. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.